Alright, here we go. My first ever ride on a 1000. So this is just a quick ride. Not really a review, nothing like that. Just a quick ride on a Suzuki GSXR 1000 K7. But it's got um, SP Engineering slip on exhausts. Sound pretty good. ASV levers and a whole other bunch of stuff. Should we go play with an M2? On my first ever go on a Jixxer 1K. Let's go do it. Do you know what? It doesn't feel that much heavier than the 600. Let's chuck it in the third gear. Feels more planted. Feels a bit harder to steer than 600. I kind of feel the weight a little bit as I'm chucking it into corners. But it doesn't sound bad, does it? They're just slip-ons. Don't sound too bad. 180 brake horsepower, which is just ridiculous. <laughs> Hands down, the fastest thing I've ever ridden. Brakes don't think feel amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's got braided brake lines as well on this thing, um, but it really doesn't feel that great. They don't have the bite. Like the best brakes I've ever had or ever felt on a personal motorbike is definitely the the hype motor that I had with the Brembo brakes. They they were fucking good brakes. Um, Maybe it needs new brake pads, but it just, it doesn't feel spongy like the R3s. It just doesn't have that kind of bite. Okay, the power's, I knew it would be a lot sooner than the 600, but it's, it's pretty fucking instant. Like, add, it's like a 600 and a two cylinder or a V-twin put together, like it's a middle ground kind of torque and then it just keeps going I guess. That was nothing as well, like you could tell how much like little throttle I'm giving it. I want to see if that M2 is still around. I'd like to have a little bit of fun with that. See if we can catch up there, there it is. Okie dokie! <laughs> oh! Okay, fucking Jesus tits McGee. Alrighty then, let's, <laughs> let's have it. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the actual fuck? M2 versus a 2007 Jixxer 1K. I don't think we'll be able to, not with uh, this traffic, but I don't mind it in that colour at all. Looks right. I prefer them in black and white, but mm, it's not too bad. But oh, fuck me, that was insane. Am I even in A mode? I said that really weirdly. A mode? Am I in A mode? Uh, I definitely am now. So it's got a gear indicator. I love the dash. I like the dash, dash on the 600, but yeah, this is better. Um, my next video will explain everything about this bike um, a little bit better. So wait for that. But this is just a quick little ride. Oh, nice ninja. Um, just a quick little ride. First ride on the 1000. Yeah, I'd, I'd like the brakes to be a bit better. Still in first gear. <laughs> like I don't think I've actually I changed it to third earlier, I don't know. Christ. That's just mental. <laughs> oh I love it. I, uh, do you know what actually it's really comfortable. My R3 was more uncomfortable than this thing. And I can flat foot it. <laughs> so it's not very high. I think it's at 800 millimeter height. You can search up the stats, I'll put a link in the description to all the like stats of this bike. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, 
Yeah, it's quite comfortable. You're, obviously, you're in a sporty position, but for a 1000, it's quite comfortable. Oh, okay. I didn't want to just take your word for it. Come on, M2. Let's have it. Second gear pull, ready? <laughs> yeah, oh, actually, do you know what? It feels pretty good. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's have it. Oh my god, that's second gear. The fuck is this thing? That's second gear. Oh my gosh. Okie dokie, obviously you can't see the mile now because it's taped up. Um, yeah, that's fast! <laughs> um, yeah, it handling wise, you know, it feels heavier. Come on, let's uh, go up again so you can actually hear me over the wind and the noise and everything. Craziness. Um, yeah, uh, it, it, it feel, I feel the weight. I feel the weight, it's a bit more effort to chuck it into corners. Um, but all it, it's actually not too bad. I'm not running another 1000, so I can't compare it to something like that. Um, and I can't really compare it to the Hypermotard because that was only an 800 and it's a naked and it was a lot lighter. Like that thing weighed nothing. But this, this is, I really like this. Always the left mirror is floppy. Always a left mirror. Why the left? <laughs> Always the left. Oh my days, I can't believe how fucking ridiculously fast this thing is. I left that M2 for dust, like... He's, um... He's nowhere to be seen. See, that wasn't a, like an insane pull. Oh, there's the M2. That wasn't an insane pull that time. That was third gear. Let's go back in a second and uh, leave the M2 again. not be disappointed with that, can you? That's insane. You know what? I wasn't pinning it. I wasn't really going fast, but that M2 kept up quite, quite nicely. I think this would thing would destroy it, though. Like, in a straight line. I don't know what the top speed of it is. I think it's 186. I believe this has got stop gear and it's hard to jet the front sprocket, but the razor had foot four, four, I think it was. Do you know what? That van's going. That van is pulling, mind. I don't know why they're not to be honest. You don't need any more power than a 1000. Um, that's 100% sure. Um, this actually has a lot of miles on it. Um, but you'll have to watch my next video to find out how many miles. I'm not going to tell you yet. And I'm still recording. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, what can I say about it? Um, I don't know. Um, I'm kind of speechless now, that's, that is insane. I can't wait till I get to the stage where that that's normal, if that makes sense. Like, the first time you jump on a 1000, it's, it blows your mind, doesn't it? 
like I've ridden pretty much everything now, 600, 800, fucking all sorts. Um, but yeah, that's that's something else. It really is something else. Um, it's a really weird day as well. It's like gloomy, but it's quite warm. That's why there's quite a few bikes out. Like the sun is out. It just looks gloomy, it's foggy in places. Um, Yeah, and I, I kind of can't wait for the the time where I that that's that doesn't feel ridiculously fast and just feels fast. If that makes sense, I'm kind of just jibbering on, jabbering on, whatever. Okie dokie. Look, look how far they are. That quickly, I've gone. One thing I've learned, right? After you've gone fast and um, you stopped at traffic lights or whatever, always keep an eye on your mirrors. You know, just in case a cop pulls out or gets out his car, or even and tries running after you, grabbing your key. So uh, I've seen plenty of that on uh, YouTube. <laughs> so always. I mean, I'm obviously doing the speed limit, 100%. This bike does get hot, that's one thing I can note. It does have a temperature gauge, but that's covered up right now. Like I said, I, I don't even know. In the town, I can expect a lot of start-stop stuff, it would get quite hot. I think I'm good. I keep looking at my mirrors still. I think I'm good. I used to love on the Ducati, there's a little bump in the middle of this road. Give it some off the line, and you do a little wheelie. to know right a 600 is fast don't get me wrong they'll do 150 60 mile an hour yeah but it takes it doesn't take ages but it takes a while to get there I'm not fit past all this shit. Um, it takes a while to get there Whereas this doesn't take time at all. It's mental. I can see why people run for the police on this, because you know how to use when no one's got you. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, yes. Going fast is dangerous, but who was I hurting just then? Okay. There was no junctions, and there was no cars, and he was miles away, and I slowed down before I got even near him. Okay. Yes, I was going quite fast. But, you know, he's an entitled fucking prick. Now this, I'm going to do a video on cyclists because I rant and rave about them way too often. <laughs> um, and I think I've come with an opinion of why I have such a strong feeling against some cyclists, but I'll save that for a video. Um, for now, that's the quick ride of the 2007 Jix 1000. Um, if you want one, get one. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but uh, fuck no, is it a starter bike? 
I don't know how people start on one of these. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, if you ever want to see, if you ever want to see, I don't know. If you want to see any more of my first rides, or well, quick rides, I've stopped calling them first rides now and more like a quick ride because they're not very long sometimes. Like that SV650 video was like really short and I didn't really get to go anywhere so it's not really a quick ride and it's not really a first ride sorry and people were refer to a first ride as like a proper review of like what chasing two wheels does whereas for me it's literally in my very first opinion on a bike like the two seconds you get on a bike you know what i mean um so it's quick ride now that's my quick ride uh if you want to see any more of those the uh, links places um if you search up ktm lc 4640 ktm duke 125 KTM RC 125 SV650 Jigsaw 600 um, Kawasaki Z800 E um, That's not easy to get into neutral um, What else? Uh, CB650 F I think um, KTM Duke 390 uh, Honda Grom, uh, AJP, PR4200, Ducati Hypermotard, um, Yamaha R3, um, I think that's most of them. <laughs> Search up any of those and you'll see them. But yeah. That's the end of this video. If you've enjoyed, hit the like button, share the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.